Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. So today we're going to be continuing with the SK Commander. Oh, we better going to run drive drive in uh, 2 3 water control. And also we'll be using that remote potentiometer. If you missed the last video where we commissioned drive and run drive in local mode, do check out the video in the description below. And also the manuals and all the other related stuff that I think will benefit you in a partial way will be in the description below. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> Here we are, so our first station is in, it's going to look like uh, so. So we're going to have a run forward, a run reverse, jog and a potentiometer. So and let, before we start, let's go through the wiring itself. Oop. Go. So the wiring, so we're going to have a B terminal 2 coming in here and then, uh, then uh, after the E stop in here, he's, he's going to go back to a uh, B4. Uh, and from there on, it distributes the power as well to all the switches down here. From there on, run forward is going to be a uh, B5. Run reverse is going to be B6. Uh, and jog, our jog button, is going to be a, uh, a B7. So this much, this is the go. And for the jog to work, you have to have one of the run signals on. So whichever way you want to jog, you can choose uh, which run signal is go, and which, whichever run signal is going to come on. That way is going to jog. When it comes down to the jog, uh, this particular drive, and I know the latest ones, the, the later commanders and things like that, they've all been uh, more or less uh, uh, fixed up and done much, much easier. It is very complicated for you to assign things for digital input. It's very, very complicated. So uh, I did it. And I thought, no, nah, that's far too complicated. And I thought, no, nah, I'm not gonna, to, I'm not gonna try to go explain you guys how to do this. So uh, there's easy way to do. You follow if you follow this uh, parameter in here, which you can do in parameter five. If you change that one to A B P R, you will receive in here a different select. Yeah, and once you close close this guy in here, as you can see the first one. If you close B seven and keep the T four open, you will have a preset two in here. And that preset two, you can you can just select as uh, enter your frequency, whatever jog frequency you would like, and it will pretty much work as a uh, jog frequency without complicating things far too much. This is basically for this kind of setup. There is a setup with the jog button on it, but it's not the setup I'm trying to work with. So this is the closest I could get. So uh, when it comes down to parameters, as, as I said, the only thing we really need to change is let me just grab the page in here. Uh, is uh, we go into the parameter 19. This is where I, uh, which is my uh, ref, uh, speed preset 2. I select it to 5. My frequency, they'll do me my jog, and I'll show that in a minute how that works. And uh, other one is in a 5. Since change that one to 2, your you are. AUPR, whatever, whichever that is. That's pretty much all there is that needs to be done. So let me put a cover on and show you how that works. Oh, and one thing I forgot, our potentiometer, as you can see, our potentiometer is right here. So it's a, a V0, A1, and 10 volts in here for this setup. And it comes from uh, the back of uh, this guy in here. So now let's put the cover on, let's see how that works. Yeah, cover's on, so let's uh, leave that. Come on, what's going on here? Probably doesn't like it that way. Here we go. So, you know, put it on, shows forwards, potentiometer. You can't put the same thing, both things at the same time on. There we go. Even though it's just FRM, whatever. So, yeah, uh, so reverse, and as you can see, my there, uh, my jog. Beautiful response time as well. It's really good. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty much for the two wire control station. Again, without complicating things far too much. Uh, that's the two wire control. Next up, three wire control. As for the three wire control, there's only one parameter that we need to change for this to work. We're going to keep the parameter five as it is, and we're going to change parameter eleven to start stop logic selection. And what that is is here. If you look at in here, parameter 6.04, that's in the advanced menu. It sort of tells you uh, what sort of states you can have. So we're going to be working with uh, this one in here. So terminal 4 is going to be our stop. 
run forwards and run reverse as you can see down there shows in here latching so that's what we are going to be trying to achieve so that's all we need to do is and then to do to do that all you need to go in here in parameter 11 and change that to one and that is it when you need to if you are progressing from the same state as me so uh regarding wiring so uh the station is gonna look uh like that so we're gonna have a run forward a run reverse stop and speed control on there potentiometer and wiring will work as a follows again terminal uh, b2 this guy in here coming in here from there on you're coming through this time is not going back from here is actually going to our stop signal and then going through our stop store and that one will go back to term uh, terminal b4 from there on distributes the power to our start run forward run reverse and that one's going to be b5 and that's going to be our b6 and b7 still stays free for uh, you can still have that as a job if you wish to or whatever or preset speed whatever you wish to have so that's pretty much that and then we have a uh, potentiometer which is still again the same as we just watched uh, that is in a, a terminals uh, t1 t2 and t3 got to expect it so let me put the cover on and we'll check out how that works there we are, the station is on, so here we go, quite straightforward, click a start, it will go forwards and oh, it looks like, <laughs> look at my potential, it's going the opposite way. So if you ever have that problem, ever happens, just uh, just swap the 0 and 10, uh, swap places and you should be good to go. But never mind, we can still test things and you, you can go straight into the minus, into the plus, and you got your nice stop in there. And if you ever uh, release that which will uh, uh, sort of uh, has removed enable signal. So, so there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a uh, two uh, uh, wire control and three wire control. So that will do for this video. Hope you, hopefully it is helping you out and getting you exactly where you're trying to get. It is a very good drive. Unfortunately, a lot of the things like like uh, from uh, from I/O perspective for configuring configuring I uh, IOs is possible, but they made it very very complicated. Don't know why. Other than that, it is it is very good because there's quite a lot of presets. We already gone through uh, quite a few of them. So uh, for this, we'll do for this drive. Uh, and uh, ladies and if you like the video, do smash that like. Uh, do subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And uh, comment below any questions, things like that. Do ask them in the comment section below, and I'll answer them as soon as and as fast as I can. So, other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.